Howdy, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we're going to be doing a video. Uh, it's going to be using OCR along with the uh, vo uh, text voice, sorry, uh, kind of combined together. I've done a video like this in the past, but this one's going to be targeted more towards video games. The reason I developed this was actually originally for my daughter. Uh, she wants to play video games. Uh, she knows words, but she's not gotten to that point where she's old enough to read full sentences. Uh, but she can play video games. So, you know, she wants to play uh, the Pokemon game that just came out recently, uh, Scarlet. But, unfortunately, like, there's a lot of speech in there that she can't read. And she wants to know. And I got so tired of sitting there having to read every single thing, every conversation, and just having to be in the room. This is something I developed for her. It could also be used for people who maybe their vision's not as good when they play video games. So they can see the video game, but text might be a little hard for them. So it could be used for someone who maybe has a slight like handicap visually in video games. Uh, so this is something that she's really enjoyed uh, just because it really helps her. So let's take a look at the code. I've done a lot of this code already but I want to see how it works in a video game. So this is great, especially for kids. Uh, so yeah, uh, so first thing you need to do is you need to download uh, Capture to Text. Uh, it does need to be version 3.9. Uh, after that, it seems to break for some reason. I haven't quite figured that one out just yet. But yeah, download 3.9. I'll put the link in the description below. Or you can just Google Capture to Text version 3.9. Yeah, very easy to find. Uh, so yeah, just download that. Here's uh, the executable right here. That's important to know. It's within this folder on my desktop. But you can obviously put it wherever you'd want. So the first thing we need to do is the hotkey to activate. OCR, that's actually incorrect because uh, I changed it. Uh, but F4 is what I'm going to be using here. And this is basically to get our coordinates so we're not searching the entire screen and having it read everything it finds or, you know, slowing our computer down, the result down, that kind of thing. We just want to target that one little area where text appears. So, for example, we're using Pokemon here. I don't want to search my entire screen. I only really need to search this little area because that's where the text always is going to appear. Uh, so just remember that. So we're just grabbing the X, basically X, Y, Z, making a cube, a rectangle, whatever you end up doing. So we are uh, jumping down here to the function where it's basically just, this is going to create like a, it's going to like dim your screen a little bit. And then when you start to drag your mouse, you can see where it is. You'll see that a little bit in action, but it's basically using a GUI. I'm obviously going to jump through this code a little fast because I've already done a video actually breaking this stuff down. I'll try to remember to post that also in the description if you want to know a little better on specifically like why this GUI is designed this way or whatever. Uh, drag mouse. This is where I was saying to make that cube. So it's, you know, doing all that. Uh, blah, 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 doing some DLL calls, you know, to get coordinates and stuff, key wait, button U, blah, blah, blah. That's what it's doing. <laughs> like I said, I'm not going to break this down. I've done a video already on that. So now we got F1. F1 is where we're going to actually take the text. So up here, it is getting the information and everything. Uh, and then here we're going to do a com object create, and this is uh, built into the computer core of uh, Windows OS. Um, so it's just, you know, speak whatever was in the clipboard. And so here we're sending the coordinates to OCR. Uh, so as you see, here's my file path. If you put it somewhere else, you're going to have to change this line of code to whatever the file path is. So we're just sending the coordinates to the OCR, uh, the capture to text program. And then it's going to capture the text, put it into the clipboard. And then here we're going to send it to the computer, the OS. And it's basically saying, hey, speak this. Um, so this is pretty simple. This, this is awesome. It's so simple to send 
get the text you need and then say, hey, speak it. Uh, now, obviously you can go into your settings, change the voice. Uh, you know, Windows comes up with only a few voice types, but there are websites out there where you can download more voices. Uh, just so you know, that's something you can always do if you don't like any of the built-in ones because they are very robotic uh, sounding to me at least. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know, if succeed, blah, blah, blah. Basically, um, this is uh, if we want to change the voice without going into our settings. Uh, so this is actually kind of long, surprisingly, uh, to do. And it uh, doesn't always work, but you can always go into the voice settings and do it manually. Uh, but we'll give it a shot in this video. Sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't. Most of the time it does. But on this video, watch. It'll completely screw up. <laughs> So yeah, uh, like I said, we're going to be using uh, Pokemon uh, Scarlet, or uh, whatever the other one is, and uh, see how it goes. So let me get that launched. Let's open that up in case I need it again. And we're going to go over here. So uh, I got two images here. So we'll start with uh, this one. So we're going to press that F4 key. And I don't know if you saw it, but my screen dimmed a little bit there. So we're going to grab our mouse, and uh, I'm just going to highlight this area. Click. It's done. Those coordinates have been saved now. So let me turn my volume up so hopefully you hear this. Hopefully the mic picks it up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, but now I can just you know start playing my game, blah, blah, blah. Oh, some text popped up. I can't read this. I'm a, I'm a child. I haven't learned that yet in school. So I'm going to press F1. Oh, hold on. Now, this is something, actually, I'm glad it happened. Sometimes the run weight doesn't work for some reason, uh, but if you just manually launch Capture Detects, you should be fine. Should be. Okay, let me reset that up since I launched it. Okay, Emma. What is going on? Of course, it always works flawlessly until you, uh, you just show it off. Program's running. It's running. The right file open. Give me one second. I'll be right back. This is kind of weird. All right, that was. Uh, I'm back now. That was weird. For some reason, the uh, captured text kept crashing on me. Uh, so I just had to go into uh, Control Alt Delete. It was for some reason. It it was sh on my desktop. It was saying it's not running, but there it was. So something went wrong with there. It is what it is. Um, so hopefully it doesn't do that for you. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and press F1 and uh, see what we get. The power of science is amazing. There we go. Now let's jump over here and we're going to do that again. Make sure it hasn't crashed. It's still running. Good, good, good. And like I said, you just at any point, even when you're like in the middle of playing if you need to move the emulator or the game to wherever you want you can still go ahead and press f4 and reset it if you want so you can reset the uh, position you don't have to restart the app uh, so you can get those coordinates updated whenever you please so let's go ahead press f1 again if you talk to a pokemon trainer like me it means we're gonna battle I'm actually surprised i got the word pokemon right uh, but yeah, so that is it. You can obviously adjust a few things. You know, remember if you need to do uh, the file path differently, I just put it on my desktop for the sake of this video. Uh, this, in case you're curious, is just uh, if you're having issues, uh, you can just get rid of this and, or the comment and make a message box that's showing when your clipboard. That way you can kind of debug to see where the issue is. Is the issue the script or is the issue the actual uh, OCR program? because um, it can be a little buggy now a heads up on this too is that when you are using uh this in a video game remember 
video games a lot of times can have really weird text fonts uh, so hopefully it captures it but if the font's too crazy it might not be very accurate but like in the pokemon game that was just regular you know straight up font nothing fancy you know squiggles and whatnot um, so you know it's not going to work in every game it just really depends on what kind of font they're using um f2 right here uh, the last thing is pick a voice by its number so i can go microsoft david desktop english uh microsoft zero zara maybe i don't know how to pronounce that desktop english united states and here you just type in uh you know one or two and you press ok and it will automatically change your voice uh it won't just be for the script it'll be for your whole system just a heads up but yeah like i said i'll link uh breaking this stuff kind of down a lot more than what i did in this video this was just more kind of a like a showcase if you will all right if you guys have any questions on this uh, hopefully you don't have that crashing issue uh, but i fixed it by just going to control alt delete task manager and force closing it and that seemed to fix the issue all right everybody i will see you on the next one and if you haven't subbed definitely do because i do videos all the time on automation mostly in ahk but i do branch out from time to time to help you with your job gaming personal life what have you and thumbs button always helps me out a lot thanks guys see ya